What up, y'all? It's Awful American. So, it's windy out today, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, this is actually a video to a sister. I had this conversation. She asked me this question this morning. Uh, she said, you know, why does my husband keep looking for another wife? And just before we go on, first I want to say, you know, kudos, commend the brother. You know, he's open and honest about seeking another wife. You know, he didn't hide it from her, even though it's not his obligation to tell her. And if you look at the rulings from the ulama, they have ruled that it is not obligatory for the Muslim man to inform his current wife that he's looking for another wife or that he's married another one. And it's no obligation upon him to tell the new incoming wife that he has a wife. So it's not his obligation to do this. So if he does it, it's from good manners. And we saw this, there's, anyway, I don't want to get into it because there might be some problems with the shit now that, that weren't at the time that he spoke. But there was an audio put out by, by a shit uh, quite some time ago and he talked about, you know, living with women in good manners with them. And it's from good manners to mention these things to her instead of, you know, keeping it secret from her. And why would you want to keep it secret from her anyway? If you act like you're doing something wrong, it makes sense that she's going to treat you like you're doing something wrong. So, you know, just don't put yourself in that position to where she is going to think you're doing something wrong because you're acting like you're doing something wrong. Don't be so secretive about it. It's permissible. It's allowed. You know, it's not a grounds for her to seek a divorce from you. This one is strong today. It's not a grounds for her to seek divorce from you. Most women will try and do it today, but it's not justified for her. It's not a justifiable reason because it's something that's permissible. Anyway, let's carry on. So the sister goes on to say, there's nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with you that you know. She says, you know, she's attractive. She said she's, um, uh, you know, she gives him his rights. She fulfills his rights. And what else was it? And, she, you know, she, she has a, a pleasant demeanor. Uh, it's raining now, too. She has a pleasant demeanor. Uh, but she gets an attitude like, like any other woman here and there. Fair enough. From what your description, I'll accept it at face value. You are that woman that you say you are. Um, generally, there's always a little bit more to a woman in her attitude and, you know, other issues than they say. Because how many women aren't perfect nowadays? You women all think you're perfect. You really do. And when you listen to the way you talk, you can't say that what I'm saying is incorrect. You all, all act like you're perfect and men are all these faulty creatures. Nevertheless, what you have to understand is, is that men and women love differently. Women tend to have a more intense, singular focus in terms of their love. They want to love their man. They want to have children with that man. And that makes sense. It's biologically makes sense because a woman, let me put this in biological terms. A woman can only have a child from one man at one time. So it makes sense that she has a very intense, singular love right a man can have multiple children with multiple women and so it makes sense that he can have a love that is spread out because is is a man who's emotionally psychologically healthy is he going to not love his all his children whether they're from this woman or that woman if he's healthy he will love all his children equally because they are his children they are his offspring but you can't expect that woman to love the children from another woman the way that he loves the women uh, loves the children from the other woman. And so his love can be spread around easier. A woman is going to have a more singular focused love. Just because of the fact of biology. So let's just go from the biological standpoint right off the rip. But we also know from the book of the Sunnah. And the way the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, upon him, was in regards to his wives. That he loved his wives. And he was good to his wives. And, you know, no one can say that he didn't love his wives. He loved them. So you have to understand first off that men do not love in the same way women do. Now let's go a little bit more into human biology. Women, we say, have a bifurcated reproductive strategy and there's what's called hypergamy in it. And from a hypergamous standpoint, a woman wants the best possible man, both physically and like mentally in terms of his performance and his outcomes for herself and her offspring. Right? So if there's something wrong with her man, it's difficult for her to not look at other men that are better. She wants to do better. And this is a biological thing. And that's good for humanity. This is the way that the laws create us. And that, that, that burden of, of performance to be the best possible man that you can be, that's on men. And so, inshallah, you get the best possible man you can. And then you love that man accordingly. Men don't have such a biological trigger in them. They don't have a bifurcated reproductive strategy. Men just love and want women. And so, generally, when a woman starts falling out of love with her man, 
and women can confirm or deny this, but we know it's correct, there's generally something that she perceives, whether correctly or incorrectly, wrong with her man. And so now she starts looking for faults or whatever else and starts, you know, carrying on, driving a man out of a relationship or what they call in the Red Pro world, monkey branching. She starts looking for a better man that fits what she's looking for as opposed to, you know, uh, settling for the faults and the shortcomings of her man. Men don't do this. There doesn't have to be anything wrong with you, sisters. Listen, sisters, let me repeat that. There doesn't have to be anything wrong with you for your man to look for another woman. That's not how it works with men. He will love you 100% and still want another woman. It, so it's not like a slight or a shortcoming on your person. Because you hear this a lot. There's nothing wrong with you. Why does he want another wife? He, no, there's nothing wrong with you. There probably isn't. But he just wants another woman. Because he likes women and he's built to like women. He's built to be polygynous. You are not. You can hoe around, obviously. Haram. Don't do it. But that's not the same as what a man does. A man generally looks for multiple reproductive par partners uh, in a long-term sense. Islamically, if he's healthy, you know, and he's not been corrupted by Western society and the hookup uh, 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 culture. So stop thinking that there's something wrong with you. What you're doing is you're externally projecting the female methodology of love and relationships on a man, and men and women do not love the same. We have different reproductive strategies, and that is expressed socially differently in relationships so i hope that helps i hope that's clear if it's not drop questions comments in the section if you disagree i want to know why but uh it's really not that complicated sisters you just got to stop seeing men from the perspective of a woman we men have to learn how to do this in order to live with you in a good way so i think there needs to be a little bit of a little bit of a reciprocity and does that mean you have to accept polygyny you have to accept that it's an aspect of men. As to whether or not you're going to accept that in your relationship with your man is a different question. But you have to accept that this is a part of how men are. And I'm going to say it. Guys, guys are going to argue with me on this one because they want to look good in front of you. But if a man says he doesn't want another wife, there's something wrong with him. I'll just say it. Let, let me say this. If a man says he doesn't want another partner reproductive partner there's something wrong with them because a lot of men don't want to take on the responsibility of another wife but they gladly take on the the benefits when we know what we're talking about here now obviously you know we have husband done of our muslim brothers and we say that you know and this is why i use the term wife but you know because we're not advocating zina on this channel it's not what we do but but you understand what i'm saying all right so like i said you got any questions comments contradictions you know counterpoints let me know drop it in the comment section this is your man album american amount